it was the game we'd warned them about all week that we didn't want to play sloppy, we didn't want to be lethargic, we didn't want to play well in the first half. And that's just how it was. And um, but I'm really proud of them for kind of gutting it up in the second half. Uh, usually, when a team plays so sloppily in the first half and doesn't play well, they usually have a really, really hard time overcoming it. But I, I felt we did that, you know, and um, it wasn't our prettiest win, wasn't our best win, but uh, I thought they gutted it out and played well when they had to. Yeah, certainly in the third quarter, I think they had 10 straight points at the free throw line, and that's one of the things that we always talk about as a team is we've got to adjust to officiating. So if they're calling a game a certain way, we've got to change. And uh, so we called the timeout, we adjusted a little bit in what we're trying to do, and uh, eliminated the fouls, and then they, they had trouble scoring. I think so, you know, not the fact that we won by 20 but by the fact that that we just found a way to play better you know I've been doing this a long time and I've seen teams when they start playing poorly it's like an avalanche and they can't get over it and I thought our team with the help of Natalie Cannell and a few others figured out a way to kind of overcome a sloppy sloppy game and uh, it, you know you're all as a coach you're always looking for the positive and the, the positive is that they were able to figure out a way to get it done but, you know I don't I don't know if uh, we can motivate a team any better than to tell them that if you go to Canyon on, on Wednesday and you beat them, then you're in first place, you know, by yourself. So if we're not properly motivated to go play well, I don't, I don't know that we ever will be. Yes and no, we wanted to, sh to choose for them who was going to take the three. So basically what that meant for us is we were going to try to cover number five roar on the perimeter as much as possible, have other people shoot the three. We didn't want her shooting the three, but we wanted everybody else to shoot the three. And uh, it paid dividends for us tonight, and hopefully uh, we play them again. Hopefully that'll happen again. You know, not really. I'd love to take credit for that and just say it was by a great coaching plan that we had double-doubles and all these things. And But really, we had a lot of kids that didn't play well, and we had two or three kids that stepped up and did play well. So when you look at the box scores, you see double digits. But what I, what I see is a team that just kind of gutted it out and figured out a way to be successful today. Coach always talks about how we're a really resilient team, so I just think we ended up gutting it out at the end um, and just doing what we could just to pull it back together because obviously it wasn't our best performance as a team, so we just tried to get it out the best we can. We're going to come back stronger next week. And we just talked about, well, at halftime we just talked about how we need to, we need to pick it up, obviously, and just um, be more aggressive going to the hall defensively and just overall just be better and come back and be resilient towards the end, and that's what we ended up doing. So.